Charles Waterman once said, most of the world is covered by water. A fisherman's job is simple, pick out the best parts. As a trout hunter, one of those best parts lies for us in the middle of the state of Michigan, the Asabo River, all of its branches and tributaries. One particular time of the year is epic when it comes to fishing with a dry fly. The window is short, the timing can be unpredictable, the possibility of hooking and landing a fish in the upper 20s on a dry fly greatly increases. However, there is one obstacle that can make it pretty tough, mainly because it looks like this. Good, oh yeah, good fish. Pressure, 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 let, let him run! Oh, damn it! Gotta let him run. That was a big, big fish, dude. Gotta let them, when they, when they want to run like that and the rod straightens out, you gotta let them run. That's a big fish up there on the corner of those reeds. The Hexagenia lambata is the largest mayfly that hatches across the Midwest. These large insects only emerge well after dark, but will bring the largest fish of the river to the surface to feed. As the light fades, excitement begins to rise. We find ourselves in anticipation on the edge of the dark water, praying the hatch will happen and the conditions will be right. At this point, everything comes into play. Full gestation and molting has occurred. Water temperature, air temperature, humidity, and moon. This is a hexagenia mayfly right here. And only then, these large mayflies emerge from the silty bottom. There's only one way you know it's happening, and that's by sound. The sound of fish splashing and gulping the surface. And then we imagine large mayflies taking flight for the first time. Until now, we've only heard stories on the emergence and not have seen it in its raw form without disturbing it with lights. This is what we set out to capture, this event in nature as it unfolds naturally. We begin hearing rise after rise and the cadence of the trout keying in on the hexagenia lambata. It becomes a steady beat of sound. As you listen, your heartbeat skips when you hear the deep echo of a rise ring and you know it was a fish pushing the mid-twenties in size. That's a lot of bugs. See, when it's hot and humid like this, they come down a lot later. That's about as many hexes as you're gonna see. In a, in a, look at that, look at the water. Water's covered. Okay, that's it. This is for a fish. We... Oh my God, there's two big ones. Listen to that pop, you hear that pop? That's a, that is a 24. That's a 22 inch fish right there. I know there's thousands of them up in the air. If you go up in the air, you're gonna see nothing but nonstop snow. Look at that, that's all heads. <laughs> there are so many casings. Perfect. He ate it. Yeah, that was it. He ate it. He's on. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, what's a big fish? Go, 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 it's you! Uh. Oh, tight, tight! tight. <laughs>